What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at it again with another video. So we're gonna check out 10 biggest WWE Royal Rumble botches that left Vince McMahon angry. Sometimes botches happen. It's just a part of wrestling. It's just gonna happen. It's unpredictable. And a lot of times, you know, if it's, you know, one of those type of situations where it's so noticeable, everyone can see it. It can mess up a pace of a match. But at the end of the day, it's, it's part of wrestling. And you know, Vince McMahon is, uh, he's very particular, especially when it comes to certain events, especially the Royal Rumble. So if there's any botches in the Royal Rumble, you know, he's going to be angry. That's just how Vince is. And, uh, you know, that's just what the situation is so we're gonna check out some of these moments where uh there was a botch and vince got upset the one i can think of off top is the kofi kingston trying to land uh like land like on the barricade and his feet not touch the ground but the feet actually touched the ground so they had to call an audible his feet actually touched the ground and he had to be eliminated before he was supposed to i can i can pretty much tell you I'm sure Vince was like, what the hell, Kofi? God damn it. You weren't supposed to be eliminated. You're black. You're supposed to be athletic. How did you mess that up? <laughs> oh, man. I'm pretty sure it went something like that. I don't know. Let's get right into this one. Let's do the thing. Whilst the Royal Rumble is without question one of the most exciting scheduled matches on the WWE calendar, the match has been prone to some incredibly memorable botches over the years. <laughs> what the was most that? infamous of these took place in 2005 mm -hmm. when the planned finish of the Royal Rumble match went completely wrong and Vince McMahon stormed down to the ring tearing his quads in the process. Now, outside of this iconic botch, there have been some unbelievable botches in the decorated history of the match that need to be seen to be believed. Whoa. Join us now as WrestleMania looks at 10 of the most insane Royal himself. Rumble botches. Y'all go subscribe to Lit or WrestleMania if you haven't already. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell for daily wrestling videos and follow us on Facebook for exclusive lists. Also check out our new channel, WrestleMania Shorts. Number 10, Randy Orton's Pyro Botch. Hmm. Well, Randy Orton would win his first Royal Rumble in 2009 and his win was supposed to help further the ongoing storyline between himself and the McMahon family. As Dude, is traditionally fun. custom for the winner of the Royal Rumble, they usually point- The match wasn't that- entertaining as it should have been for that feud but the feud was fun it's just a match at wrestlemania it didn't live up to the hype the wrestlemania sign then extensive pyro will be summoned however in 2009 the pyro malfunctioned oh. meaning that orton pointed at the wrestlemania sign and nothing happened ah oh, damn During this time orton had documented issues with his anger and it was evident that orton was getting more and more irritated Orton then attempted it once again, only for it to finally work. <laughs> this was a poor botch from WWE's Pyro team, as it should have had the Pyro in question ready, but of course. mistakes can unfortunately happen in all areas of production. Yo, I had to stop the reaction real quick to let you guys know that this video is sponsored by HelloFresh. You got any New Year's goals? Well, HelloFresh is here to help you achieve them. Skip the grocery store and take control of your time and budget with delicious recipes delivered right to your front door. HelloFresh Festive Fair Collection features limited time recipes made with seasonal produce and premium proteins. Get out of the post-holiday slump with these elevated winter classics. Looking for an easy way to eat well and save money this year? Cut back on expensive takeout and delivery and get started with HelloFresh. You'll love how fast and easy and affordable it is to whip up a restaurant quality meal in your own kitchen. The good thing about HelloFresh is you can choose your plan of your choice. They have meat and veggies, veggies, family friendly, fit and wholesome, quick and easy, and pescatarian. You can also choose the number of people for your plan, two or four is the max. Recipes per week, you can go from two all the way to six per week. I ended up choosing for this particular uh, meal plan this time is the quick and easy only because um, I'm usually busy when it comes to me getting videos done and trying to get things situated, you know, whether I'm at the studio or not. So a lot of times I don't even really have enough time to just sit there and, you know, cook an extensive meal. But I like the fact that they give you an option. They'll send you something that you can cook up fairly, uh, fairly quickly and you're on about your day. 
another reason why you should be getting you some HelloFresh is the simple fact that whatever you want to create, it they send you a card on the actual meal and they show you exactly how to create that meal that you wanted the, the ingredients already come pre-packaged all you have to do is really just follow the instructions and there you go now granted i ended up getting the honey mustard chicken salad wrap it did not look like it looked in the finished product i'm gonna just be honest with you uh i did not wrap up the wrap correctly and it came out looking like a taco but guess what it still tasted good i enjoyed it even though it didn't look like the finished product on the card that they send you so what i need from you guys is to go to hellofresh.com use the code kicking with ross 21 that's kicking with ross 21 for 21 free meals plus free shipping you can't beat that once again go to hellofresh.com use the code kicking with ross 21 for 21 free meals plus free shipping once again i want to thank hellofresh for sponsoring this video now let's get right back into the reaction number nine john cena's terrible landing oh, the 2004 yeah. iteration of the royal rumble was widely praised at the time but since the match was won by chris benoit the match is rarely acknowledged mm -hmm. and it has been labeled as the forgotten royal rumble yep but upon re-watching the match back the match is a clear indication that john cena was the next top guy in the company mm -hmm. as he was without a question one of the most over wrestlers in the match and the crowd reaction to his elimination spoke volumes when it came to fan interest in him at the time Cena's elimination in the 2004 Rumble was unfortunately botched, and there was immediate concern for Cena's welfare. Mm -hmm. Cena would be eliminated by the Big Show, and his leg landed awkwardly. It looked oh! like Cena was instantly hurt. Oh Cena had torn God. his MCL, but Cena somehow didn't miss any substantial time away from WWE television. I remember watching that back, and it's just, oh, it, it made me cringe just the way he landed. It looked like he tore something, bro. And he was once again wrestling just a few days later. Which is crazy. Number 8, Titus O'Neil's failed elimination. The 2015 Royal yep. Rumble was an utter... We've, we've heard about this when Vince McMahon getting mad because he didn't eliminate himself in a timely manner. Vince was upset in the back, reports were saying. Disaster for WWE. They booked the match completely backwards, and it resulted in one of the worst Rumble matches of all time. Mm -hmm. Due to the match ending itself being so poorly received, many fans overlooked the botches in the match itself, and one of these took place with Titus O'Neil's elimination. The plan was for O'Neill to enter the match and immediately be eliminated by Dean Ambrose and Seth Rollins, but O'Neill somewhat hilariously couldn't get over the ropes. Yeah. It was awkward, and the spot <laughs> had to be redone, which didn't look the best upon execution. This would be the first of two Royal Rumble botches for O'Neill, as just three <laughs> years later, he would notoriously slip and slide under the ring during the greatest Royal Rumble. <laughs> Number seven, Kofi Kingston's luck runs out. A former yep, WWE champion this. Kofi Kingston has crafted out an impressive Royal Rumble legacy without, without even winning the match. Mm -hmm. Kingston has been able to avoid elimination in some of the most exciting ways imaginable, and these have now become Royal Rumble highlights each year. Yep. In 2022, unfortunately, his luck ran out, as his elaborate Rumble save was botched. Kingston would enter the match at number 24, and when he was pushed off the top rope by Kevin Owens, Kingston landed yeah. on the barricade. It appeared that Kingston was holding himself upon the barricade, avoiding letting his feet hit the floor, but sadly, his feet had already well, touched yeah. the ground. It's too late. WWE would replay the spot, and it was ruled that Kingston was indeed eliminated. They received credit for not insulting the viewer's intelligence, and it was appreciated that WWE called it in a legitimate manner. Which number I can definitely appreciate because WWE, they will sit up there and try to make it seem as if, uh, you know, oh, no, he made it. No. They, once they show the replay, people could see it. Nah, he, he was out. They, got, they had to call it fair. Stone Cold Steve Austin's accidental elimination. The 1996 Royal Rumble pay-per-view saw Stone Cold Steve Austin make his WWE debut as the ringmaster. They had huge plans for his character and booking plans called for Austin to make it until the final four of the match. Unfortunately, there was just one issue. Austin was accidentally eliminated early and subsequently wasn't able to make it to the final four. Oh, damn. This accidental elimination occurred when the future Rikishi charged at Austin with a clothesline with a little too much force and Austin stumbled right over the top rope oh, and he wasn't able oh, to hang damn. on. Hilariously, Vince McMahon, who was on commentary, decided to outright ignore it, but when his commentary partner Mr. Perfect mentioned it, McMahon had no choice but to state that Austin was indeed eliminated. 
Austin would discuss his infamous botch on his podcast, and this is what the WWE legend had to say. We were at the Royal Rumble, and I was supposed to be finishing fourth in the match. So your first year in the company, and you're going to be the fourth to last guy left in the ring. That's a pretty good rub. I was doing a spot with, I believe it was Fatu, I can't remember, one of the Samoans. And man, he had a lot of baby oil on. All the guys were oiled up, and so the ropes were very slippery. I was going to do a deal where he does something to me, and I was going to take a bump over the top, hang on to the top rope, come back in the bottom. Well, zip, zip, boom, I lost my grip. Fell out on my keister, down by the guardrail. Damn, Number five, man. The Great Carly forgets about the hard camera. Yeah. WWE Hall of Fame of The one. Great Carly has been known to botch move or two in his career, <laughs> but his botch at the 2007 <laughs> Rumble was fail. borderline laughable. When Carly made his entrance and cleared house, this was to set up The Undertaker entering the match and subsequently eliminating the seven foot giant. Upon cleaning house in the match, Carly missed his cue and forgot to pose in front of the hard camera. Michaels could see that Carly mm -hmm. was posing towards the wrong camera and he had no choice but to break character and inform him to pose over towards the correct side of the arena. <laughs> it was incredibly obvious what HBK was saying, but the spot ultimately wouldn't have had the same effect if HBK didn't take control of the situation. Yeah, he had to call Number it four, in the Alex ring. Alex Riley almost ruins the 2011 Royal Rumble. One of the main storyline aims of 2011's Royal Rumble was to develop the feud between The Miz and John Cena ahead of WrestleMania 27. The Miz's protege Alex Riley would be a big part in this, but his early accidental elimination in the Rumble match threw a spanner in the works. Riley would slip over the top oh, rope after just three minutes in the match. Oh. WWE had to rethink how they were going to handle Cena's elimination, as initial plans called for Riley to eliminate Cena with the help of The Miz. WWE quickly improvised and had already eliminated Riley, which would distract Cena only for The Miz, who was on commentary mm -hmm. at the time, to enter the match and eliminate Cena. Mm -hmm. Number three, a major botch turns into a storyline. The Rock's defining moment was to be at the 2000 Rumble, as he would win the match and get set to headline WrestleMania 16. The only problem was that the finish of the Rumble match was botched, meaning that technically The Rock didn't even win the match, and the match victory should have been awarded to The Big Show. Yeah. The finish of the match saw Big Show attempt to throw The Rock over the top rope, only for The Great One to hold on, and then The Big Show would fall to the floor. This spot sounded great on paper, but The Rock's feet sadly yep. touched the floor before The Big Show's, meaning that the finish was completely botched. Mm -hmm. They decided to turn this into a storyline where Big Show would declare that he was the rightful winner of the match, which was a smart thing to do, as it would have been nonsensical for the... Which was good that they called that audible, because it's like, well, you have to, because you can clearly see his feet touch the floor first. Big Show feet is still in the air, so... It... it, it, it did the match work as well? Um, some people have mixed feelings about this match in particular, but they, I'm, I'm, I'm glad that they once again didn't insult people's intelligence and kind of just turned it into a, a an angle, uh, a storyline going into WrestleMania that year. WWE to ignore such a huge blunder. Number two, backstage chaos at the 2022 Royal yep, Rumble. Where Shane, McMahon. Where Shane McMahon didn't have his finest showing at the 2022 Royal Rumble, as his antics both backstage and in the ring led to his own father Vince McMahon firing him. Yep. McMahon was pushing for himself to be the star of the match, which naturally didn't go down well with other talents, and his performance in the match was less than stellar. One of the major botches McMahon was involved in took place before he'd even come down to the ring. The Rumble running order declared that the WWE Great Randy Orton would enter the match at number 28, whilst McMahon would enter at 29. However, when the time came for Orton to make his entrance, McMahon's entrance music played accidentally, meaning that Shane had to quickly make his entrance. Oh. According to backstage reports, Orton found the botch incredibly funny, and was reportedly almost on the floor with laughter. <laughs> and number one, WWE production missed an iconic spear. Botches don't just happen with wrestlers themselves, as WWE's production team are prone to making huge blunders from time to time. Yep. Take, for instance, the 2020 Royal Rumble, as Edge had just come out of retirement after nine years and had delivered his first spear. However, for whatever reason, yeah. the camera panned away and showed fans <laughs> celebrating. The fact that they missed such an iconic moment was heavily criticized by fans and even fellow WWE talent. They missed the individual it. who took Edge's first spear back was Dolph Ziggler, and Ziggler was furious as he decided to take to Twitter to air his grievances. <laughs> who cuts away from an official in-ring return while two opponents are running towards each other? People make mistakes. We all do. I have made tons. But this being said, a very special moment was inexplicable explicably miss anyone got anyone got a cell phone footage it's the truth bro how do you 
If I'm just rocking production, I'm staying on edge as soon as he gets in the ring. You can cut away to people's reaction afterwards. But, ah, oh, jeez. Do better. <laughs> Who cuts away from an official in-ring return That's while funny, two opponents bro. are running towards each other? People make mistakes. We all do. That's I make funny. tons. That being said, a very special moment was inexplicably missed. Anyone got cell phone footage? The backlash to the production botch was so severe that WWE would edit footage of the Rumble. Instead of panning away, the official footage of the 2020 Rumble now includes the shot of the spear. Oh, okay, there they we go. <laughs> there we go. They, they made it right, even though it should have happened live. So, But yeah, man, this was a, another good one. You know, Royal Rumble is right around the corner, so we're going to keep checking out these Royal Rumble-related videos. Comment down below. Let me know your, your I guess you could say, the most infamous royal rumble match uh box you can uh think of if it wasn't in this video let me know down below but i appreciate all the love and support you guys have shown on the channel road to 150k and i am still yeah undisputed youtube wrestling champ of the world appreciate y'all kicking with me see you on the next one peace